Binge the full week ad free over at patreon.com slash inspired disorder. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality. Inside Lewin Davis is a Coen Brothers film that came out in 2014 starring Oscar Isaac. It is a film that I can't completely came out and uh i you know just not on my radar whatsoever uh you know i'm a big fan of the coen brothers i love their films but for whatever reason 2014 this one uh you know i don't even know what i was doing i was single you know i was not in any kind of relationship i must have just not been watching that many movies uh you know podcasts and comedy were uh, my kind of focus as far as entertainment wise. So I guess it was just a blind spot and it's been brought up. This movie has been brought up multiple times on other movie podcasts that I watch or listen to. And, uh, I finally got around to watching it. It was, uh, and it was a good movie. This is like early Oscar Isaac too, uh, which I just saw a movie with him, which I think came out just before this movie. I think it came out maybe like 2012 that had Oscar eyes. It had a crazy cast. I can't remember the actual name of that movie. It was like the 10. It was it was a bunch of guys uh, and uh, girls, I guess, women and men, who were going to their 10-year high school reunion. Had Oscar Isaac in it, obviously, who played a musician. Like, uh, yeah, he was like one of the friends who was, uh, you know, became a, a, f- a famous musician. Uh, then there was like uh, Channing Tatum as one of the people. It had a cra- has a crazy cast, um, and I'm not going to look it up right now. But uh, apparently, Oscar Isaac that was like his first film, and then he was in this one. And he, he he's a uh, you know talented. He plays a guitar. He plays a folk singer, uh, struggling folk singer musician in 1960s Greenwich Village, New York. So this is a time. When folk music's kind of popular, not mainstream, this is, I believe, from what I... uh, 1961 specifically, uh, I believe this took place just before Bob Dylan kind of took off. He was kind of the big folk uh, star of the time, I believe, and I think this takes place just before that. But it really does a good job of of putting you into what it was like to being a struggling artist. He's like Oscar Isaac's character is constantly couch surfing, staying at different friends around the city. He doesn't have a place of his own. Uh, so, you know, whether he's staying with other musicians that are slightly more successful than him or just other people who are around town, like he, there's a, a professor that he stays with and uh you know, it's just kind of it's it's you're you're seeing what it's like, what his life is like as a struggling artist who's also dealing with a lot of doubt. You know, he just broke up with he was in a duo with another guy and they broke up and he's trying to establish himself as a as a solo artist. And not only just a solo artist, but a solo artist in a, a genre of music that is has yet to be popular like it's it it, he's like ahead of the curve in a lot of ways uh as a as a folk artist uh because it's not popular yet he's still a little bit ahead of his time so he's struggling with uh just what it's like to not only survive as an artist uh but he's you know dealing with the exhaustion of of being an artist of being an artist that feels like which it's there's a lot of themes in this film that i i definitely relate to just kind of like where it feels like you're on this never-ending treadmill and nothing ever seems to happen and it just doesn't seem like anything's ever going anywhere and then you look around yourself and it and it, and it feels like some of the most undeserving quote-unquote people are are like hitting uh like somehow coming up with things that are resonating much more with with pop with popular uh uh society i guess popular culture uh this also has uh probably one of my favorite roles he's not a huge part of this movie but justin timberlake plays one of his uh musician friends uh that actually in this movie he he uh writes a like a pop song kind of a thing that also had uh god adam driver is that his name um 
yeah, Adam Driver plays Al Cody, who's who's another musician who's kind of trying to make it. Like it's just a lot of people trying to make it and trying to survive. And by make it, it's like I don't know that I, these terms of like making it. It's just artists' goal is to just develop and grow as an artist, and hopefully, as a byproduct of that journey will be will be money i don't like fame i i guess some people go try to go into the arts uh in order to be famous but like to have fame as your goal is kind of just it seems like a, a very shallow goal to have to just have the the blanketed fame and it you know this is much more of like artists just struggling to be artists and struggling to just find motivation to keep going like there's moments of this movie where oscar isaac's character uh lewin davis uh you know considers leaving right he tries to leave he tries to just get he tries to quit but he can't quit like even quitting finds itself to be a hassle uh like there the the hoops that he has to jump through in order to quit he wants to become a merchant marine but because he lives this lifestyle where he's a nomad and he doesn't really have a place for his things like his things are kind of spread at different people's houses that things go missing and because things go missing he's not able to join the merchant marines which was like his his way out quote unquote of being a musician so even like trying to quit he can't do so it's like he's forced He's forced to stay an artist. He, he can't quit who he is. He realizes that he can't quit who he is. He's just an artist. He's a musician. This is his life. You see his ups. You see his downs. You see the doubt. You also see he, he goes on this road trip, which is just crazy thinking of what touring was like back then for anybody. I mean, this is like pre-cell phone, obviously. This is like there's just you just got into cars and you just drove until you got to a place and like there's a scene where like he's on his way i think they're doing a, sh a show in chicago he's uh there's um god what's his name uh da -da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. he's john goodman plays this like older established artist he's going on he's doing a show in chicago and lewin davis goes along for the ride he's going to be his opener uh for the show and it's like and john goodman has this kid that's driving for him john goodman's got some health issues uh but they're driving on this freeway at night well actually no they weren't driving he was like pulled off to the side of the road uh to take a little nap because you know you're just driving at night on this long stretch of road going from new york to to chicago they're probably i think they were in ohio uh when they when he pulls over and he's taking a nap and this cop comes up to the window and basically like john goodman is asleep in the back seat you got lewin davis in the passenger seat and then the driver gets woken up by this cop this cop just doesn't believe his story right thinks he's drunk or whatever and the cop just takes him cops arrest this dude and just takes him in his cop car. And now Oscar Isaac, you know, Lewin Davis and John Goodman's character are just in this car. John Goodman's still asleep. He doesn't even know what happened. Lewin Davis is like, well, now what? So he just gets out of the car and bounces. And it's just like, now that show's gone. But then also, John Goodman's character is eventually going to wake up in this car and nobody is there. He, he, he won't know that a cop just arrested his driver for no reason. I mean, it also shows how worthless police officers were even back in the 60s, where it's just they arrest people for no reason. And then, like, just everybody's just stranded out there. It's crazy. It's just kind of a crazy thing. And then Lewin Davis just hitches a ride, ends up going to uh, this music producer somewhere. I, for, I forget where this building is trying to get a record deal uh and you know the guy's like i don't see anything in like there's nothing special about what you're doing with this folk music like it's not 
He's like, there's no money in it. There's no money in it. Which is really interesting when the way this movie ends, this movie ends with kind of like, with how it begins. Like, it begins with the scene where Oscar Isaac gets beat up in an alleyway. Um, and that's actually the ending of the film. And it's it's kind of this scene where Lewin Davis realizes that there's nothing, he can't even quit being a musician. Like, there's nothing he can, his only option is just to keep being a musician. Uh, but as he's walking out of the club, it's like towards the end of the film, uh, you see Bob Dylan on stage doing old school Bob Dylan. That's why I assume this this film is taking place just before Bob Dylan really hits it out of the park and makes folk music uh, huge. So it's like you, this the the for me what this movie is saying. In addition to a lot of things, there's also this cat, this idea of this cat. Uh, this cat that gets out when Lewin Davis is staying at somebody's house, a friend's house, and, and their cat gets out. So he tracks the cat down. So a lot of this movie, he's, he, he has this cat that he's trying to hold on to uh, until he can get it back to his owner. At one point, the cat gets loose, and he finds the cat later on on the street, but it turns out it's not even the right cat. But there's this whole metaphor of this cat where it's like uh, he walks by this movie theater and the Disney movie uh, The Incredible Journey, which later was remade and titled Homeward Bound. It's about this story of these three pets that get lost and uh, like have this extremely long journey to, f to get home. And it's like how no matter how lost you feel as an artist, your home is as an artist. Your home is on the stage. Your home is behind the easel. Your home is behind the keyboard or or behind the guitar. That's like, no matter how far you try to get away from it, you always come home. So there's kind of that, that metaphor for, uh, for kind of life in a way that like, no matter how lost you are, you, you always, you always have the, the option to find your, find your way back. Uh, but also just never knowing what's around the corner, like as an artist or just as a human being in life, like things can go bad without any kind of warning, but things can also go good just as easily. Like that pendulum can swing both ways. And, and what it feels like in this one, it feels like all of these, these things where Lewin Davis feels like he's just barely trying to make it. He's, he's, he's like performing this art form that, that nobody appreciates yet. And, and it's just around the corner that, that Bob Dylan's going to make that genre of music huge, which will in turn probably launch the careers of a lot of folk singers, including Lewin Davis, which I don't know if this is based on a real story or not, uh, but it, it's just a really great movie. It really puts you uh, in the shoes of, of, a, of, of an artist and a musician in that time of New York and just kind of that scene. Uh, and it's a really cool movie. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it's not my favorite Coen Brothers movie. Uh, it's maybe not. I, I mean, it's definitely a movie where you see Oscar Isaac. You see why Oscar Isaac is so popular and so good and put in everything. He just He's really talented uh, and does a really good job playing this character. I don't know who else could have done this, you know, play a, a folk singer necessarily. Uh, but yeah, it's a beautiful film, well made. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, so it, it's currently on Amazon Prime. So if you're looking looking into looking for, if it sounds like a movie that you might want to watch, uh, I'd highly recommend it. Watch it on Prime or wherever else it's available. Great movie. Inside Lewin Davis, maybe not the best title, but that's also the title of his album that he's trying to trying to to push to people. Uh, but yeah, I, I kind of enjoyed it. I, I kind of enjoyed the world and the people in that world, and kind of, uh, kind of glad that I'm not uh, trying. To, I'm not in that kind of a, a, a hustle. That's not my. That's not my chosen art path. Uh, but I did enjoy it. So check it out if you are interested. Inside Lewin Davis. Get yourself some amazing coffee over at StationHouseCoffee.com and follow Station House Coffee on Instagram. That's right, people. It's the place where you get your amazing premium coffee that's brewed in small batches, all from the same place, single origin. 
It's the greatest coffee known on earth, brewed by experts, delivered to you by experts. Go get yourself some amazing coffee over at stationhousecoffee.com and make sure you follow Station House Coffee on Instagram. Let them know that you're a fan of the show and you love coffee. New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on IGTV, YouTube, and everywhere else podcasts are found. Binge the full week ad free over at patreon.com slash inspired disorder. Buy Ray Taylor Show merch over at inspireddisorder.com. Follow the show on Instagram at Ray Taylor Show. Have a wonderful week, everybody. Peace out.